I am back today with another Make It Up Monday video. In today's project, we are making a really cute bunny cutout pillow box treat container. Open up on the sides, so you can access all the yummy treats on the inside of that. Really simple to make. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer, you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen, upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you are logged in. You want to go to the right and click on where it says All Categories, and then go down and click on Easter. We're going to scroll down to find the pillow box. And you will see there are two of them. We are making the one that has the bunny on it, so go ahead and click on that. This will bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. I did not change anything with this box. If you want to, you can resize it. Top toolbar, go ahead and click on Go. And there's our box there. Bottom right, click on go. I'm going to cut this out over the table and put our box together. All right, so we have our piece cut out. I have a little piece of a plastic bag here for the window. I'm first going to go ahead and crease all of our square marks to get them started first. Then go in there with the bone folder and get a nice flat, crisp edge on them. Then we have the curvy part, and I just again kind of finger press it. I just used for my box, I used plain white paper and I went ahead and stamped flowers on it. And I'll show you the stamps that I used in one second. Okay, so we have them kind of going. All right, the stamps are for the flowers. So you guys can see they're the flowers. I used the one from Mamie Made It called Floral Kaleidoscope and I used that one here. And I used um, Stampin' Up Mint Macaron ink onto yellow cardstock. All right, so we have that. We're gonna flip it over. Find our little window piece here. And this is just a little plastic bag I cut to kind of fit. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get this from MamieMadeIt.com. On the back side, the inside, I want to put some glue all around the outer part of the bunny so it, all that stays flat for us. And then just kind of a little bit around the bunny. Oops, get that big old glob right there out of there. All right. Go ahead and take your piece of window sheeting or plastic bag, whatever you are using, and lay that on there and just kind of give it a little bit of rub. That's going to keep all of our treats on the inside. All right, now we're going to take that flap, use art glitter glue again, and I want to make sure my glue goes all the way to the end. I'm making a mess here, aren't I? I got glue dripping everywhere. Hang on, I need to get a wipey. I'm having glue issues. Oh, because my cap's not all the way. See that? My cap was not on. So make sure your glue, your cap is not all the way. Otherwise, you're going to have drippage like I did. All right, so back. Here we go. So I'm going to put the glue all the way to the end, especially on the sides right there where it's going to seal. All right. I'm just going to take this and just fold it flat. Make sure you're lined up. I'm going to give that a little bit of push. Let the glue settle and open that back up. And then we have our little tube, okay? Now just double check on your seam here on the ends. Make sure the glue is all the way to the end right there because that's where we're gonna put a lot of pressure on our box. I'm gonna just go ahead and give the ends there a really good squeeze. All right, and then we'll have the ends here. One has a finger notch and one does not. I like putting the finger notch one down first. Just gonna pinch that down where it goes. It'll just kind of fold in place for you. Okay, and just like that. Do the same for this one. So I put the finger one down first, or the one that put the notch, and then put this one down on top of that one. And this way is the right way. Okay, super cute. All right, so we're gonna open it up on the inside and take our jelly beans, and I'm just using, you know, the Great Value Jelly Beans. You can use Skittles, M&Ms, whatever you like. Just a few of them in there. And again, I put the finger one down first because it's easier. When you open this flap up, you have that little notch there that you can kind of reach your finger into. But how cute, right? And super simple. Other than that, we had glue issues, but there you have it. So it holds, you know, a few jelly beans in there. Great for a class project. Great for, you know, Sunday school, what have you. Um, any questions, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.